Call this meeting to order. If everyone could please stand. We have some members from Troop 44 that are earning a badge here tonight and they're going to lead us in the pledge. Gentlemen. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> Roll call, please. Trustee Christofferson. Here. Trustee Smith. Here. Trustee Galuza. Here. Trustee Scalise. Here. Trustee Wilson. Here. Trustee Madsen is absent. Mayor Balderman. Here. All right, first up board are, is the consent agenda with four items. They are the minutes of the regular meeting for February 12th, 2024, an ordinance creating a class D1 liquor license for Hog Wild 2 and New Lenox second read and raffle licenses for 2024 for both the New Lenox Chamber of Commerce and Friends of the New Lenox Library. Does any member wish any of those items to be pulled and discussed separately? All right, if not, is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Scalise, second by Trustee Wilson. Comments or questions? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Mayor Baldwin. Aye, motion carries. Okay, next up we have consideration for an ordinance creating a Class D2 liquor license for Don Jose's Cantina and Taqueria. First read. We do have uh, representatives here. Um, they're in no hurry for this to be done, but they were here tonight in case. Did you want to come up and introduce yourselves sure. or say anything? Sure. Come on. <laughs> and uh, good. Please state your names for the record. Uh, Dominic Iozzo, um, actually we're, in, we're the owners of Joey's right yes. also. Um, we would like to do a little spin of, because uh, we do so well with tacos and, sure. and stuff at the restaurant, so we would like to do a upscale um, Mexican restaurant, or a date night type. Sure. Place. Not just a sit down fast food, it's nothing like that. In, in the old Chicago dough uh, spot. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, we're really we're really excited uh, awesome. when we heard that. You know, Chicago Dough did a nice job. I uh, hear they've got a beautiful building. So, but uh, to have a nice, like you say, a date night uh, Mexican <clears throat> restaurant sit down, that's wonderful. That's really great. Any thoughts on when you're going to uh, be able to move forward to get close to an opening? Or I'd probably say middle of May or something, which we'd like to shoot for as long as everything yeah. goes okay. That would be great. We're hoping for Cinco de Mayo, but yeah. we'll see. Well, good. We'll, see. well, it won't be us that holds you up, that's for sure. I don't know <laughs> what kind of work you have to do on, on the inside or not, but uh, our, our building yeah. department does yeah. a great Full job. Full updates will look like a different place when you walk in there. That's wonderful. Anything you want to ask the board? Anything you need from us? Um, we're just a uh, consideration for an outdoor patio, if we can get that in the works, sure. along with the, Did you the liquor license. Uh, that the day, the dead. Did they talk to you about that no. at all, Rob? All right, you'll have to talk to uh, Robin. That's a separate license, liquor license. Okay. Um, and I'll have to get a special use. <clears throat> Chicago Doe didn't have a patio, so yeah. you'll have to go through the special yeah. use process. Okay. So um, Robin, can you can get a hold of Robin, and uh, she will be happy to walk you through that process. Perfect. Okay, perfect. And, but we appreciate you investing again uh, in our community. Any questions from the board? Any comments or anything? No? All right, well, again, uh, welcome. And uh, Robin can help you out with that process. That's uh, a little bit lengthy of a process, but we could probably get through it uh, for uh, end of May, right? Yeah. Timing wise? Sure. Okay. okay. Awesome. That sounds good. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. You, you don't need to show up. The next meeting is when we would approve the liquor license. Okay. Um, but as Robin said, there's a process you'd have to go through for the, uh, if we were to grant the patio, that's a whole nother matter. Okay. She'll explain that to you, but you don't need to be at the next meeting and look, you should be good to go. Okay. Very good. All Stay right. Thanks, thanks so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. So good much. to see you. All right. Next up, we have consideration for an orange creating a class A1 liquor license, uh, Ace and Vine 4. Uh, this is first uh, read. However, the uh, background check was uh, successful, no issues with that. And they do have the ability to uh, get in uh, March 1st. So they were asking if there were no issues that we would waive second read. Okay. Second. All right, motion to set aside the rules, waive second read by Trustee Smith, second by Trustee Scalise. All those in favor signify by a voice vote of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Now is there a motion to approve the uh, liquor license? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Scalise. Second. Second by Trustee Galuza. Any comments or questions? 
Roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Mayor Balderman? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, next up we have consideration for approval of proposal for the gas station market analysis with SB Friedman. They've done work with the village in the past. Um, this, and they should be able to get this completed in, the, in 12 to 14 weeks. Uh, the proposal's for $36,735, and this is going to give the board some guidance as to uh, where there may be a need uh, for any additional stations or where we are at our max. Of course, the board has the authority to do what they want to do with that um, study. Uh, but it's uh, before you tonight, uh, so we can get that uh, analysis. Any questions? No? Okay. Is there a motion to approve the proposal? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Wilson, second by Trustee Scalise. If there's nothing further, roll call vote, please. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Mayor Balderman? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, next up is consideration for approval of proposal for sale list agreement for the 10 to 12 acres located at the southeast quadrant of Route 6 and Cedar Crossing. Of course, these are the acres at our sports complex. Um, this is with uh, CBRE. Uh, if you look through the agreement, it's uh, at 5% or 6% unless if there's a purchaser's uh, agent uh, on the deal. CBRE obviously is well versed in this type of uh, real estate. Uh, Amy had offered to step down and do it for 1% commission, but we didn't want to do that. So we, uh, we have this shame. proposal for you here tonight. <laughs> Any uh, comments or questions on the um, proposal? All right. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Galuza, second by Trustee Christofferson. Comments or questions? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Mayor Balderman? I motion carries. Next up, we have consideration for approval of an agreement land title survey for 662 Cedar Crossings Drive with HR Green uh, for $4,800. Uh, as many of you know, and I know, again, uh, Amy, obviously you've been involved in this sort of thing. One of the biggest issues with these sports complexes is parking. And so, although we feel like we have ample parking up there, uh, there's an opportunity uh, in working with uh, 662 uh, for us to have some additional cross access as well as uh, add some uh, parking to it. Uh, Robin, anything you want to add to uh, to this? No, not at this time. Okay. No. They, seem, they seem willing. No. Yep. All right. And the proposal's for $4,800 for the land title survey for a THR grade. Any questions from the board? All right. Is there a motion to approve the agreement? So moved. Motion by Trustee Scalise, second by Trustee Smith. If there's nothing further, roll call vote, please. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Mayor Balderman? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, next up is consideration for approval of proposal uh, to provide a competent person air testing and a report for the asbestos removal of 109 and 115 Haven. This is with uh, PECRON. Um, is the uh, cost are in the uh, packet for you. They're $850 daily rate, $12 per area for air sample in a $1,720 written report. These are, they have worked with us before. Um, there has come back that there's asbestos in these uh, two homes. This is part of the roundabout project. Um, they will make sure that uh, they oversee uh, the asbestos removal that takes place there and uh, give us a full written report uh, what, to show that it's clear and, and that uh, we're good to go. Um, Kurt has provided for you information on that roundabout project. Um, you know, we're, this year we will be um, taking down those uh, houses over there in that AT&T building that's over there as well, uh, doing some utility work and whatnot. Um, the construction in earnest, of course, it should take a full construction season uh, but that will really start next year uh, for the very reason that you don't want to get involved in that and then stop with the winter. You know, if we knew we were going to have winters like we've been having, that's one thing. But 
um, as they are. So uh, this is for uh, the asbestos removal, overseeing the asbestos removal and providing uh, the, the report. Any questions on this? Okay, is there a motion to approve the proposal? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Scalise, second by Trustee Wilson. Anything <clears throat> further? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Mayor Baldwin? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, up next board is consideration for approval of Village of New Lenox organizational chart. Uh, most of this you have seen before. Uh, what's really uh, changing here, and Kurt and I have had a lot of conversation uh, as far as trying to streamline reports. Uh, between him and uh, Robin, uh, they have a lot of people reporting to him, so there's going to be some more, uh, you know, reporting to department heads and funneling it up uh, to uh, Kurt and Robin appropriately. Uh, one that really stands out here is uh, creating the position of community engagement director. Uh, with everything that we've been doing, um, we really think this is uh, important. Uh, Beth has done a great job as special events coordinator, uh, but in the pro in the uh, uh, with the opportunity to try and streamline some of this, plus with what we're adding, um, you would see uh, her go to that new position. Uh, reporting to her would be safe community coordinator, uh, which of course makes sense because of all of the events and engagements that take place. Uh, Dan and, and his team uh, do a tremendous job with that. Uh, Don, who's the cable coordinator in social media, again, a lot of uh, what happens there is uh, Don working with Beth to get those events out. Um, the new museum, so Nicole, uh, the director of the Children's Museum, and then in the new budget year would be a special events assistant uh, to help out with everything that we have or it's already needed, uh, but certainly with the museum coming on and we know there's going to be some coordination with the sports complex and events that we'll be holding up there um, that's going to be needed, but that special events assistant would not be seen until the new budget year. Um, everything else uh, is in the uh, packet. Uh, are there any questions? I just, uh, what I need is the board to uh, approve the organizational chart. Any questions on any of that? Uh, <coughs> excuse me, everybody uh, does a really good job. The reality is, uh, especially, um, you know, all department heads, uh, you know, Kim and Mark and Lou and all, they do a great job. Uh, but quite frankly, we're doing more in this town than you see in a lot of other towns. You're well aware of that. All the projects we're bringing on. And um, I've had concerns, not because uh, the ball's ever been dropped, uh, but every time I meet with Kurt or Robin, their list is longer than our arm. They just, and we want them to be able to make sure that everything continues to run smoothly, but if we don't take a little weight off their shoulders, um, that's when issues arise. Uh, fortunately, they haven't, uh, but we also know that, um, you know, coming up in the next few years as part of our strategic plan, uh, you know, the number one priority looking at our at our succession uh, deal, bringing in people um, who maybe are not familiar with how we do things here and asking them to carry the load uh, that Kurt and Robin have been carrying, it's not, it's not realistic to be perfectly candid with you. So this is the organizational chart. So if there are no questions, I'd ask for your approval on, on this. Thank you. I'll second. All right, motion by Trustee Smith, second by Trustee Scalise. If there's nothing further, a roll call vote, please. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. <coughs> Mayor Balderman? Aye, motion carries, thank you. Uh, under reports and communications, just a couple of things. Uh, first, Scouts, it's great to see you here. Uh, New Lenox has a, a proud history of having uh, so many Scouts come through. Eagle Scouts, I don't know if that's something that you boys will be working toward, but uh, <clears throat> we're really proud of Scouts organization and we always like to say thank you to the leaders too. It's a tremendous amount of time uh, to help shape these young people and mold these young people to being uh, great community members. So thank you for being here tonight. I'm sure you'll be successful with your a badge that you're working on. Uh, also, uh, a very happy birthday to Robin. Today Thank is her you. birthday, Aww. so uh, we appreciate all that you do for us. And um, 
I know my wife is glad that you've caught up to her. You know, <laughs> so just took a couple of weeks, but you're all good. But happy birthday to Thank you. Thank you. And uh, finally, uh, Bill Walter is um, back in the hospital. Um, mm. Keith is with him tonight. That's, that's where he's at. Uh, we want to wish Bill well. Um, he uh, has been through an awful lot, but uh, we're grateful to have him in our community. We hope he can be back here at our meetings uh, very, very soon. So uh, that's all I have for tonight. If there is nothing for me, village attorney. Nothing tonight. Thank you, village administrator. Just very quickly, two, uh, two things. One, finally, the WIFIA loan was approved to move forward. Uh, we, the bids are out on the street, so we'll be the, the sanitary plant that's been long in the planning stage. Uh, but Kim, Oxeter, uh, Robin, Chris, a lot of people working to make that happen and appreciate the board helping make that move forward. Uh, a lot of work with the sanitary uh, department also to, to move it forward, but finally move, it is moving forward. And then I know that Laura wants to tell everybody how they can vote here early. Um, just a reminder, early voting for the March 19th general primary election is on March 4th through the 15th. Uh, that's Monday through Friday from nine to four in the community. So. All right, very good. Any questions for Curtis staff? No? All right, uh, next we have payroll and disbursements. Trustee Smith. Thank you. And I'll second that. All right, motion's been properly moved and seconded. Any comments or questions? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Smith? Aye. Trustee Scalise? Aye. Trustee Galuza? Aye. Trustee Christofferson? Aye. Trustee Wilson? Aye. Mayor Baldwin? Aye, motion carries. Anything else, Dave? All right, thank you. Questions or comments from the floor? You gentlemen want to ask anything? No, you all good? All right, well, again, it's good to see you here. Trustee comments, Trustee Smith? There you really wow. in all these years. They never trusted the money. <laughs> <laughs> they should have. But that's not a problem. All right. No, all right, very good. Thank you. Trustee Christophers. Nothing tonight. All right, thank you. Trustee Galuza. Happy birthday, Robin. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> you got a nice day. <laughs> um, and I hope to see Bill here soon. Hope he gets back on his feet and we're able to see his face again. Absolutely. Thank you. Trustee Wilson. Uh, just happy birthday, Robin. And uh, that'll be all. All right, very good. Trustee Scalise. Uh, yeah, happy birthday, Robin. That's it. All right. Well, we have no we have sorry, we have no need for executive session. So if there's nothing further, is there a motion to adjourn? No move. Second. Yeah. Motion by Trustee Smith. Second by Trustee Scalise. All those in favor, signify by a voice vote of aye. Aye. Opposed. Meeting adjourned.